The difference between life and death is often a matter of seconds. It's something Caleb Carr experienced in 2009 while on a search and rescue training trip on Large Mountain outside of Portland, Oregon. That is when the unthinkable happened. Caleb's friend Don went into cardiac arrest. Caleb and his team immediately started CPR while waiting for an Oregon National Guard Black Hawk helicopter to arrive. When it finally did, the crew was unable to lower the rescue basket down to lift Don into the helicopter. This was due to the high winds and the constant swinging of the basket, causing the inability to get through the dense forest. In 2009, we were doing a training mission. I was a training commander, if you will. But in the midst of that training mission, Don went down with cardiac arrest. We started to administer CPR and we called base. When they heard about the incident, they dispatched a helicopter from the Oregon National Guard to come rescue him. However, when the helicopter arrived, they tried to lower the classic rescue basket down to the team below. Um, and as we were actively trying to provide CPR, the basket just kept swinging back and forth. Eventually, after multiple attempts, the helicopter pilot called off the mission. And so we ended up calling time of death a few minutes later. It was that reality that spurred on what now Vita is today. That one moment will forever be etched in Caleb's memory. As a way to honor Don and ensure no one else would suffer the loss of a loved one under such circumstances. Vita Inclinata Technologies was founded in 2012 at the University of Colorado. Essentially, after the Don reality, which happened in 2009, I went to a professor named Dr. Randall Tagg, and he simply asked me the question, well, why the hell don't you fix it? And so that's exactly what we did. And so 2018, we were able to say that the LSS was born now providing full stabilization to that exact same problem that Don realized just in 2009. Since the birth of Vita Inclinata, Caleb and his staff have worked to turn the concept into reality, conducting research and field tests to ensure its load stability systems can save lives even in the most adverse of situations. Today, we're at Vita Inclinata's headquarters in Denver, Colorado to learn exactly how its technology works. So the load stability system platform essentially functions through three operations. It senses the environment around it and interprets and fuses data through our proprietary control engine and then outputs uh, correction forces through high performance, high energy electric duct fans. We then decipher the LSS platform into three primary product lines uh, categorized for rescue operations or cargo operations respectively. We have the load stability system litter attachment, which is for autonomous uh, stability and rescue operations with a Stokes litter, uh, specifically going to be deployed for the United States Air Force and Army. And we have the load stability system hoist rescue, which is a spin on the LA uh, for all um, hoist rescue operations, again in the rescue category. And finally, we have the load stability system sling load, which is a larger, higher powered system configured for external cargo operations on both rotary wing aircraft and cranes. The advancements being made by Caleb and his staff will not only support military operations, but private ones, including oil rigs, construction cranes, logging ventures, high-rise fires, forest firefighting, and helicopter logging. These are just a few of the ways the firm is looking to expand its reach by utilizing its state-of-the-art technology to impact a wide array of industries. I really attribute our expansion to two things. For one, our development team is relentless and dedicated to producing an optimal product. But on the other hand, uh, there's new innovation being inspired within the DoD uh, through uh, organizations such as Avworks who are opening doors to bring the products to the warfighters in a much quicker schedule than traditionally possible. So we've spent the last six months specifically working out in Aberdeen, Scotland to be able to work on North Sea oil rigs, to be able to provide stability control to cranes because crane loads swing back and forth. More importantly, they injure over a thousand people every single year just in Canada alone. We were then able to then expand our technology to be able to then leverage it in heavier loads, whether in 20,000 pound conditions, in high wind conditions, or in other types of applications that you could see, such as firefighting, high-rise fires, etc. in the urban environment. It enables the operational envelope of all of those different types of missions to be able to ensure that we are protecting individuals that frankly have to struggle with the catastrophic swing on a very regular basis. 
In 2019, Vita Inclinata received contracts with both the Air Force and Army to conduct extensive research and flight testing for its load stability system. In 2020, the firm is preparing to embark on production of its first supply units. It will mark a significant step in Vita Inclinata's goal to save lives under the most harrowing of circumstances. This is a, a technology that stabilizes you know, the bottom of any swinging pendulum, right? At any scale, it's really, uh, it's a platform that way. And I think it's, it's really the right place to, to start to, to save people's lives with that technology. <laughs> it's magnificent. And I, I expect to see, I hope to see, uh, you know, Vita's technology deployed at the bottom of every rescue hoist uh, in the U.S. Army, the rest of the military, and every other helicopter pilot that's out there, you know, relying on the stability of what's underneath them, you know, to, to trust human life in their hands. I think everybody deserves to have that technology. A little more than a decade after Caleb Carr lost his friend, his firm has dedicated itself to providing first responders with the technology it needs to effectively conduct search and rescue operations. In the process, they will help minimize the loss of life in any and all situations. Um, over the last six months, we've been able to ring the NASDAQ bell with the U.S. Air Force. We've been able to acquire an accelerator called Aero Innovate to help other startup companies do the exact same thing. And over the next series of years, I foresee the company growing exponentially, 200, 150 employees, all being able to personify that mission of being able to build technology that brings people home every single time.